The IRS under fire for targeting political enemies of the president, conservative groups. And even though the agency apologized, it has now surfaced that officials knew about this practice in 2011 and they lied to Congress about it. So, what happened and why hasn't anyone been fired? Joining us now is former Florida Congressman Colonel Alan West. Colonel, nice to see you. It's wonderful to be here with you. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks so much. Yeah. Great to have you in the studio. So, what are we to make of this? Is there, is there any indication that it wasn't just a handful of rogue, low level IRS agents in the Cincinnati office who thought that they were going to personally stick it to the Tea Party? Well, of course, the, uh, the division chief for this section of the IRS knew about this and sent out a cease and desist order, but never, nothing was ever followed up on. But the most important thing we need to come to understand is that in the, your First Amendment right says that you have the right to petition your government for redress of your grievances. If we start to have a government that is targeting certain groups for their political ideology because they don't believe that it is in concert with their beliefs, this is, uh, this is Orwellian, to, to put it in the least manner. Well, here's what I don't understand. So it was known within the I IRS mm -hmm. that this was happening. The head of the division, as Ali just said, yes. answered questions about it. The next year, Douglas Shulman, the mm -hmm. commissioner of the IRS, went before Congress, you were then serving there, sure. and said this, asked about it, said, quote, there was absolutely no targeting. This is the kind of back and forth that just happens to people. You're right. How can you get away with telling a flat-out lie to the Ways and Means Committee. Well, I mean, you can talk to Jay Carney about telling a flat out lie at his press conference uh, just on Friday as well. But we've got to come back and have hearings on this. The Ways and Means Committee needs to look in this. Uh, Chairman Issa with the Oversight Committee needs to look in this. And probably you may want to get uh, Bob Goodlad and the Judiciary Committee to look into this as well, because this is something that is criminal. And we cannot have the American people afraid to express their own beliefs because they think that the IRS or some other government agency will come down on them. Just to spell out to our listeners what the IRS was doing to the Tea Party groups, they were asking them for their uh, emails. Donor lists. Donor lists. Yes. What were they planning to do with these? And the identities of their relatives, by the way. Yes. I mean, one of the things you have to understand with those donor lists, and this is something that was brought up before the Small Business and also the Oversight Committee when I was there at Congress, they are after those lists because they want to put a lot of pressure on individuals. And there are a lot of folks out there that are very concerned about coming out and being forthcoming about their support to political candidates or what have you. There are a lot of automobile uh, dealerships that were closed down because people found out who they were providing, uh, you know, funds and support to. Uh, when you go back and look at that auto bailout. Scary. It's now, very scary. Today is Mother's Day. Absolutely. And you were kind enough to bring the mother of your children. Yes. <laughs> And your children and your yeah. to our family. Set. Can you introduce yeah. them? They're here in the Absolutely. Wings. You got my wife uh, Angela. You've got uh, Come uh, hey. ladies. Yeah, you got my youngest daughter, which is awesome. We have our Chinese exchange student Lynn and my oldest daughter Aubrey. So uh, we were up to speak at the graduation for the King's College uh, just yesterday, and we thought it was a great family event because my wife uh, originally lived here in New York City. What's it like to be back? How are you liking New York? Love it, absolutely. You guys gonna go see a show or anything? Um, we're heading back today, actually, at 12. Colonel. Yeah. You proud of your dad? When you walk down the street, we got timelines. <laughs> we got to get they got to get back to school and things of that nature. But uh, no, we'll be back. Absolutely, we'll be back. But they had a great time, you know, going out last night on Times Square and everything. Got caught in a rainstorm trying Ooh. to go to Central Park. Uh, they thought it was funny that dad was drenched, of course. Did you get breakfast in bed, Mrs. West? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Neither did Allie, sadly. Well, it's great to meet early. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. Thanks so much Thank for coming you. in. Thanks Great for having you. us on.